JT Guitar. Today I'm here with John of Ambler Guitars. Hello John, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Yes, you too. So, can you tell us a little bit about the history of Ambler Guitars and yeah. your future goals and what you're doing right now? Well, Ambler Custom Guitars has been running for about three years now. Um, I've actually been making guitars for 10 years, a decade, but um, decided to turn it into a business three years ago. Doing really well. Uh, we specialise in exotic wood guitars, all um, properly sourced uh, from reliable, uh, sustainable sources. And uh, yeah, just aim to make the best handmade boutique guitars available. Great. And you say you've been making them for 10 years. Did you, would you work for another builder in that time? or? No, I, um, I actually started doing woodwork, um, making kitchen furniture for my dad's business. Um, but I've, actually, I've always wanted to make guitars since I was about 10 years old. So as soon as I learnt my, a few woodworking skills, um, that was it. I started making guitars in my spare time straight away. We've actually got my first ever guitar I made on the wall behind you. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's just run from there really. It started off me making them for myself and for friends and family and it's just snowballed from there really. So it's going really well. John's got a really, really great Instagram account. The, the builds are beautiful and the words are beautiful. Can you maybe pick two of your favorite guitars and tell us a bit more about them? Yep, so this is the Juliet model. It's a semi-hollow version. Um, they do come in solid bodied and full hollow body versions as well. I've just made this for the Birmingham show this weekend. It's got a master grade Ziracote top, Honduran mahogany body with cream binding, uh, custom McNelly pickups, Stagger Swagger set in there. And it's very cool Duesenberg Les Trem, which is just fantastic. Um, beautiful roasted maple neck on the back, three, three piece roasted maple, with the Ambler custom guitar spearhead volute, and uh, Goto tuners on top. And yeah, it's just a beautiful instrument. It sounds fantastic as well. It's got the Ambler medallion inside the F hole for little, just little details like that is uh, what we like. <laughs> Any other favourites? I've been eyeing up. I've been eyeing up this one. Yeah, this is the um, this is the this is one of my hound dog models. Uh, again, I've just finished this for the show this weekend. It's a full black limber body and top on this one, so it's all out of uh, the same billet of wood. That's why all the the end grain falls in line. Um, now it's a quilted maple pit guard. I've stained black, so under the lights it looks absolutely stunning. It looks almost holographic. Uh, master grade Ziracote fingerboard with flame maple uh, position markers, stainless steel frets, uh, Bigsby B5, um, an ABM roller bridge, keep the Bigsby in check. Again, McNelly pickups, P90s, which are just fantastic, all hand wound, amazing pickups. Um, then on the back of the guitar, again, a beautiful one piece roasted maple neck with a spearhead volute and uh, Duesenberg tuners, which are fantastic. That is absolutely beautiful. I love, I love how narrow it is as well. Yeah. The weight's lovely. It's, it's light, but not cheap feeling. It feels really solid, yeah. but hollow. It's amazing. Thank you. Well, can you tell the people at home where they can find out more about you? Sure. Um, if you'd like to go to the website, it's www.amblerguitars.com. 
You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. You just search for Ambler Guitars, and I'll come up. And um, yeah, that's about it, really. Great. The guitars are absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to plug them in and get going with them. So, pleasure to meet you, John. You too. Thanks for that.